In C1, we asked, to change the total amount of kinetic and potential energy in a system, what must be done to that system? Well, we had the question that said, if we want to change the kinetic energy, we have to either change the potential energy, or we have to do work. So if we want to change the total amount of kinetic and potential energy in a system, we need to do work. By the way, just in case you care, kinetic energy, potential energy, and work all together are known as mechanical energy. Just an interesting side. If we switch to C2, C2 is asking, <clears throat> Most potential energy can be changed into kinetic energy. Hey, like we said here, what other forms of energy can be transformed into? Well, we talked about when we dropped a golf ball and it hits the ground, then we're not going to get all the potential energy that we got out of it. All the potential turned into kinetic, but once it smacked into the floor, some of it turned into sound. Some of it turned into heat. Your iPod has chemical potential energy stored in the battery, but when you start using it, it produces sound. It also produces light. It also produces heat. So we find that sound and light and heat, we can also produce electricity, and we can produce magnetism. So these are really the forms of energy that we see all the time. Sound, heat, light, electricity, magnetism, and our kinetic and potential energy and work. These are the forms of energy <coughs> that we change around to a lot.